Okay, I'm now going to show you how to multiply 321 times by 4, so a three-digit number multiplied by a one-digit number, using the expanded method. So the expanded method is the next stage on from using the grid method. First of all, I need to set out my calculation, and this time I set it out underneath itself. So 321 multiplied by 4. And you will recognise uh, that the expanded method... Um, is still using that concept of partitioning, except this time we're putting the um, answers vertically, which then leads on really nicely um, to learning the compact method a bit later on. So I look at my calculation this way now. 1 multiplied by 4 is 4. I'm then looking at my tens. 2 tens multiplied by 4 is 8 tens, or 80. So I put my answer underneath. Now I'm looking at my hundreds column. 300 multiplied by 4 is 1,200. Some children will be looking at that and saying 3 times by 4, but it's important that they still recognise that it's 1,200 and therefore we need these zeros as place uh, holders. <clears throat> and then because it's set up underneath itself, we can now use that as a, an addition. So 4 plus 0 plus 0 is 4. 8 tens, 80 plus 0 is 8, 80. 200s plus nothing is 200s, and 1000 plus nothing is 1000. And this works um, in the same way if we were doing a two digit calculation by two digit. So 32 multiplied by 41. I could set that up in exactly the same way. 32 multiplied by 41 underneath itself. <clears throat> Except this now, we've got two digits, so we need to deal with that in very slightly differently. 2 multiplied by my 1. We're going to be focusing on this 1 first. 2 multiplied by 1 is 2. 1 of 30, 3, 3 tens multiplied by 1 is 30, and we need to put that underneath. Some people would then draw a line underneath this, just to help themselves out, and remember we're now dealing with the 4 tens, 40. 4 tens, 40 multiplied by 2 is 80. 40 multiplied by 30 is 1,200. It's really important at this point to make sure everything is lined up in the correct columns because otherwise we're going to have difficulties when we add everything up. I can now add this in a column method and it doesn't matter if we've drawn a line, we just uh, ignore that at this point. So 2 plus 0 plus 0 plus 0 is 2. 3 tens plus 8 tens is 11 tens and we carry that one at the bottom. 200 plus that extra 100 is 300, and 1,000 plus nothing is 1,000. So 32 multiplied by 41, and my answer is at the bottom here, 1,312.